I like look that. At, look at old Hank go. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, hey. Man. On Yeah, it, it, it's it, it's interesting. <laughs> very, very, very interesting how they name these names, but... Yes, Henri. Henri. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's hard. I got, I got to get it in my head. And my intuition tells me that we are now reaching around peak hurricane season, yes. even though it's been pretty quiet leading up to now. Uh, yeah, so we had Elsa beginning of July. Oh, yeah. And after that, <laughs> yeah. <we're>, crickets. <laughs> yeah, it was crickets but, but now, and, and dust in the, in, dust, in, yeah. in the Atlantic Ocean. And oh, now man. three storms this week that we are tracking already. Fred has come on land. Let's talk about that one a little bit more. The threat for severe weather tornadoes has gone down. Down, but some heavy rain still occurring in portions of southeast Alabama and southwest Georgia. There you can notice the heavier rain bands as they continue to move through. Still some flash flood warnings here, but the main concern is just going to be the storm continuing to head off to the north and northeast. Current wind speeds near Delville, around 33 mile an hour sustained winds. The storm again may landfall. Uh, across the Florida Panhandle near Panama City, and that's where the storm brought some stronger wind gusts, close to about 70 miles an hour. Current wind gusts showing anywhere between about 25 to almost 50 miles an hour near the center of the storm, and that storm will continue to track off to the northeast here. Here's your latest update from the National Hurricane Center. We're still at a tropical storm, but not by much. Wind gusts are still embedded close to about 50 miles an hour and moving a bit faster. At about 10 to 15. So this will weaken to a tropical depression. The main concern here is just going to be some heavier rainfall across that region. Let me take you also to Grace, where we just talked about where they've been dealing with some big problems in Haiti, the earthquake from over the weekend. And now looking at uh, some very heavy rain, the core of the precipitation is starting to pull away from Haiti. It's on the outer skirts, still some rain bands behind it, but a tropical depression here and top winds at 35 miles an hour. This one will move through Jamaica and then head toward the Yucatan near Cancun, likely to become a Category 1 hurricane as we get into the end of this week. But current forecast models keeping it south of Texas and moving toward Mexico. So we'll continue to monitor that one closely. And then there is Henri. It's located near Bermuda. It's a tropical storm and it's expected to stay in the Atlantic. Back here at home, we had highs today in the low 90s and the upper 80s. It was still quite warm this afternoon, even though we had some hit and miss thunderstorms and everybody is in the 70s at this current moment. Look at this here. We've got an upper level disturbance that's going to generate some energy into the day tomorrow, and this is going to help lead to better storm chances tomorrow night heading into Wednesday. Wednesday morning, I think we could have some pretty gusty and noisy thunderstorms going into early Wednesday. Tomorrow, we'll see more scattered storms develop in the daytime heating. Here come the storms, though, that will round that upper level system. They'll come in from the Red River. There's 8 o'clock storms approaching near the Metroplex. Then they start to move in late Tuesday night, heading into Wednesday morning. A broken line of some pretty heavy thunderstorms will be possible. Maybe even a few severe warnings. Main concerns probably going to be gusty winds and some heavy rainfall. But if this verifies, some of us could pick up maybe one to two inches of rain on top of what some of us have seen in the last few days. So we're going to keep the storm chance around through at least Wednesday. It's isolated Thursday and the heat is on toward the end of the week, which will feel even more humid if this rainfall verifies. Deep East Texas, more storms tomorrow and then increasing again into Wednesday. All right, Marcus, thank you. Sports,